Have you made any New Year's resolutions yet? For many, the New Year's a chance to lose weight. Thanks for joining us at 10, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. So if you are headed to the gym, here's a question. Where do you put those important personal items? In your car, a locker? They could actually get stolen from both. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb tonight with some important tips after a recent theft. Where are we looking to start today? Um, can I do 11 on the tread for uh, Brooke? I gotcha. It's a common sight in any new year. Yay, you're happy, you're excited. <laughs> it's been very, very busy lately. Uh, we've had a lot of tra foot traffic coming in, lots of calls the entire time. So really trying to put and give as much attention to everybody who's coming in. But Wilson West with Orange Theory Fitness in Nashville says, while you may be focused on losing some pounds, at the gym you should make sure you're not setting yourself up to lose something else. We do say for everybody to bring their own lock, make sure they're the only one who knows that code as well. And more important, West offers the advice that police do too. Make sure you don't keep valuables in your car while you're away that can make your car a prime target for theft. It could be me, it could be you, it doesn't matter what car you drive, what security system you have, you've got to always make sure you're on the up and up of everything that's going on. Because it doesn't matter who you are, it can happen to everybody. West says they are common sense tips that people nonetheless can ignore, especially if they're running late or in a hurry. So you want to make sure when you're coming in, make it a little bit early, give yourself a little bit more time when you're coming in because you're going to want that to make sure you do everything right. There we go. Tips that West says can serve you well, whether you've been hitting the gym for the first time or for a long time. You want to focus on yourself inside the studio and outside the studio. Make sure you're always safe and secure. Here we go, team. All out. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Thank you, Jason. Last month, Metro Police said someone broke into a locker at a mid-state YMCA and stole a man's credit cards. Today, police told us they think he worked with a partner. They used the cards to purchase a bottle of liquor worth thousands of dollars at a nearby store.